All right, so this right here is one of the most pristine, most beautiful, most special swimming holes in all of Texas. And truly, there's almost nothing else like it in the entire world. I mean, you look down into it, it is a, a spring-fed hole that goes all the way down to the aquifer, hundreds of feet, just pushing fresh water out. But more than just being beautiful, it's also really, really important for what it is both historically and also naturally. Some believe Jacob's Well was named by the pioneering Texans who saw the springs as a miracle of biblical proportions. Water flowing from the rocks like in the Old Testament days of Jacob. And this quickly became a favorite spot for both recreation and survival because after all, water is life. And today it's protected by the good folks of Hayes County. This is park specialist, Catherine Sturdivant. Oh my gosh, Catherine, this is like the abyss into the middle of the earth. How deep is this thing? So this cave right here goes down about 140 feet into the ground, about a mile in. What? Yes, sir. 140 feet down mm -hmm. and then back into other caves? Yeah, or? so it stages, it drops in increments. It'll drop down about 30 or 40 feet and then flatten out and then drop another 30 or 40 feet. There's about five or six chambers in there. Some are you, so large you can fit one of y'all's trucks through. Others wow. are so tight that you're taking the tank off your back. Whoa, that sounds terrifying. It's absolutely frightening. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Have you ever done it? No, never. Okay. <laughs> absolutely not. The public used to dive here regularly, but after a number of deaths in the depths of the cave, it's now only open to experienced research diving. And that might scare some of you, but as long as you stay in the first section near the surface, it's perfectly safe. So I imagine though, like you get a lot of kids who feel like if they jump in, they're just gonna sink into the bottom of the earth. Yes, there's definitely some apprehension. I definitely have to remind kids that uh, number one, it's not gonna suck you in. Number two, there's some confusion about Jacob's whale. That, that he's living down there? There's no like, whale and there's no Jacob. Be like that thing on Star Wars that comes out of the planet. Like Someone kinda, like, did tell me the other day, a child said it looked like the Sarlacc pit. That's right. <laughs> you know, now that makes it a lot more terrifying for me. Yeah, very exciting. Like I said, perfectly safe. The only living things down there aren't even big enough to nibble your toes. But this water and this area in particular host a, a number of protected and unprotected organisms that are really critical. We've got blind catfish and a pretty unique type of salamander that's only found in aquifers around here. We've got a ton of other breeding fish, sunfish and bass in here that are just really thriving and keeping this water clean and healthy. So there's a balance between recreation and conservation. Right? Absolutely. And that's why they only open it for swimming half of the year with a strict reservation system. But if you can get in, well, you have to. How important do you think like swimming holes are to just sort of that, that tech, being a Texan? It's, it's essential. At this point, we're hitting 105 every yeah. day this week. It's necessary to be in some water or nobody's having a good time. Plus, these places are the places that many Texans just grew up being in. I couldn't agree more. And you may have noticed that one of the best ways to get into Jacob's Well is to start way above it. Oh man, look at that. This is definitely a different perspective. I mean, it is a, it's just like a vacuum to the middle of the earth. It feels like it's gonna suck you in. And I think uh, I might've talked a little big. How about we go down to the lower ledge to start this day off? It's truly as if nature built its own diving board. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Wow, it's like plunging into another world, but it's a world without oxygen. Woo! Yeah. This is about as perfect as it gets on a hot Texas day. Just watch your step. The rocks are a little slippery. Okay, so a few more warm-up jumps, and then... I think I'm going to the top. Worked up the courage. All right, let's do let's it. Go. <laughs> a little slippery. <laughs> a little slippery. Jacob's Well has been known to swallow a few treasures, wedding rings, watches, and GoPros, 
And with the first shelf sitting at about 25 feet down, very few things get recovered. Let's see what's been lost down in Jacob Jones's locker. All right, we're gonna go down and see how far we can get in this thing. Can you get to the bottom, little buddy? You think? Uh -huh. He can do it, I can do it. To make it even harder, the water flowing through the springs is pushing against me. It's like I'm kicking against an invisible current. Made it to the bottom with no sign of lost treasure. Oh, but here's the entrance to the real fathoms below. Bull, that's creepy stuff. I think I'm heading back up top. To see the full episode or to get info about how to visit this spot, trip on over to thedaytripper.com.